Hello, Ken Boyer from Garage Gurus Heavy Duty. I'm here today to talk about caging a brake chamber. And the reason why you'd want to cage a brake chamber might be to replace it, might be to do other brake work, or perhaps you even need to move a vehicle or a trailer and the brakes are set because you don't have access to air, therefore you can't uh, move the vehicle until you release the brakes. So basically, that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna talk about the ability to, be able to release the brakes. So the first thing I wanna do is to remove the caging bolt that's here on a um, kind of a storage pocket on the side of the brake chamber. Now this bolt has tabs on it and these tabs need to be inserted into the brake chamber. I'm gonna pull the weather seal off and you need to insert this bolt inside the chamber into the end of the center shaft until it comes contact and then you can lock it in. In order to show this a little bit better, I've got a cutaway here and I'll remove the weather plug here. Here's where the, this bolt is going into. You're basically inserting it into the slot and you're turning it about a half a turn. And then you can pull on it about a half an inch out and it's locked in. So that's how you wanna insert it into the chamber. So I'm gonna come back over here to the brake chamber. I'm gonna insert it in. Now what you need to make sure you do is you need to use the washer. Because if you don't use the washer and you just run the nut down, as you can see from the size of the hole in the nut, it'll pull that nut right through the chamber housing. So you need to make sure you always use a washer. I'm gonna go ahead and thread it on. I'm gonna thread the nut up. Everything's tight. The next thing you wanna use is a special socket. Now you can use a box end wrench, but the socket is five inches long, it's five inches deep, and it's made for caging a brake chamber because as we cage it, this bolt's gonna come out. So basically, I'm gonna run this bolt all the way in and it may take a little bit to do so. And I'm gonna run it in until it stops. Now you don't wanna use an air wrench doing this. You need to use, you need to do it by hand. So as you're collapsing the spring, you're gonna feel it get tighter and tighter. And there it comes to a stop. So I know that I've got the spring completely collapsed. That's why you wanna use and do this by hand with a socket rather than an air wrench so you don't pull it in too far and, and collapse the chamber. But obviously we well, wanna use the long socket because as we pull that center shaft through, you need some place for the center stud, for the stud to go. So now the chamber is caged, the spring has collapsed and it's now safe to remove the chamber, do any other brake work that you need to do or just basically move the vehicle if you have to, it's now safe to do so. And that's how you cage a brake chamber. For more heavy duty tech tips like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.